A bagel is a bread product, traditionally shaped by hand into the form of a ring from yeasted wheat dough, roughly hand-sized, which is first boiled for a short time in water and then baked. The result is a dense, chewy, doughy interior with a browned and sometimes crisp exterior. Bagels are often topped with seeds baked on the outer crust, with the traditional ones being poppy or sesame seeds. Some also may have salt sprinkled on their surface, and there are also a number of different dough types such as whole grain or rye. Bagels are a popular bread product in Canada and the United States, especially in cities with large Jewish populations, many with different ways of making bagels. Like other bakery products, bagels are available in many major supermarkets in those countries. The basic roll with a whole design is hundreds of years old and has other practical advantages besides providing for a more even cooking and baking of the dough. The whole could be used to thread string or dowels through groups of bagels, allowing for easier handling and transportation and more appealing cellar displays. History, contrary to some beliefs, the bagel was not created in the shape of a stirrup to commemorate the victory of Poland's King Jan III Sobieski over the Ottoman Turks in the Battle of Vienna in 1683. It was actually invented much earlier in Kraków Cube W, Poland, as a competitor to the Oberzank, a lean bread of wheat flour designed for Lent. Linguist Leo Rossen wrote in The Joys of Yiddish about the first known mention of the word bajal in the community regulations of the city of Krakow Cube W in 1610, which stated that the item was given as a gift to women in childbirth. In the 16th and first half of the 17th centuries, the bajal became a staple of the Polish national diet, and a staple of the Slavic diet generally. Its name derives from the Yiddish word beagle from the German dialect word bugle, meaning ring or bracelet. Additionally, variants of the word bugle are used in Yiddish and Austrian German to refer to a somewhat similar form of sweet filled pastry and nuss bugle, or in southern German dialects. According to the Merriam Webster's dictionary, bagel derives from the transliteration of the Yiddish beagle, which came from the Middle High German bar paragraph agile or ring, which itself came from Buch in Old High German, similar to the Old English bar ag, ring, and bar gan. Similarly another etymology in the Webster's New World College Dictionary says that the Middle High German form was derived from the Austrian-German bugle, a kind of croissant, and was similar to the German bar one-quarter gel, a stirrup or ring. In the Brick Lane district and surrounding area of London, England, bagels, or as locally spelled bugles have been sold since the middle of the 19th century. They were often displayed in the windows of bakeries on vertical wooden dowels, up to a meter in length, on racks. Bagels were brought to the United States by immigrant Polish Jews, with a thriving business developing in New York City that was controlled for decades by Bagel Bakers Local 338, which had contracts with nearly all bagel bakeries in and around the city for its workers, who prepared all their bagels by hand. The bagel came into more general use throughout North America in the last quarter of the 20th century, which was due at least partly to the efforts of bagel baker Harry Lender, his son, Murray Lender, and Florence Cinder, who pioneered automated production and distribution of frozen bagels in the 1960s. Murray also invented pre-slicing the bagel. In modern times, Canadian-American NASA astronaut Gregory Chamtoff is the first person known to have taken a batch of bagels into space on his 2008 Space Shuttle mission to the International Space Station. His shipment consisted of 18 sesame seed Montreal-style bagels, produced at the famous Fairmount Bagel Bakery in Montreal. Chamtov was born in Montreal to members of the city's Russian Jewish community and is related to the Schlafman family that owns the bakery. Preparation and preservation, at its most basic, traditional bagel dough contains wheat flour, salt, water, and yeast leavening. Bread flour or other high-gluten flours are preferred to create the firm and dense but spongy bagel shape and chewy texture. Most bagel recipes call for the addition of a sweetener to the dough, often barley malt, honey, high fructose corn syrup, sugar, with or without eggs, milk or butter. Leavening can be accomplished using either a sourdough technique or using commercially produced yeast. Bagels are traditionally made by mixing and kneading the ingredients to form the dough, shaping the dough into the traditional bagel shape, round with a hole in the middle, from a long thin piece of dough, 
proofing the bagels for at least 12 hours at low temperature, boiling each bagel in water that may or may not contain additives such as lye, baking soda, barley malt syrup, or honey, baking at between 175 degrees Celsius and 315 degrees Celsius. It is this unusual production method which is said to give bagels their distinctive taste, chewy texture, and shiny appearance. In recent years, a variant of this process has emerged, producing what is sometimes called the steam bagel. To make a steam bagel, the process of boiling is skipped, and the bagels are instead baked in an oven equipped with a steam injection system. In commercial bagel production, the steam bagel process requires less labor, since bagels need only be directly handled once, at the shaping stage. Thereafter, the bagels need never be removed from their pans as they are refrigerated and then steam baked. The steam bagel is not considered to be a genuine bagel by purists, as it results in a fluffier, softer, less chewy product more akin to a finger roll that happens to be shaped like a bagel. Steam bagels are also considered lower quality by purists as the dough used is intentionally more basic. The increase in pH is to aid browning since the steam injection process uses neutral water steam instead of a basic solution bath. If not consumed immediately, there are certain storing techniques that can help to keep the bagel moist and fresh. First, cool bagels in a paper bag, then wrap the paper bag in a plastic bag, then freeze for up to six months. Bagel quality the quality of a bagel may be evaluated by considering the experience it provides as it is eaten and its nutritional content. The ideal bagel should have a slightly crispy crust, a distinct pull, when a piece is separated from the whole by biting or pinching, a chewy inside, and the flavor of bread freshly baked. The taste of a bagel may additionally be complemented by additions cooked on the bagel, such as onion, garlic, sesame seeds, or poppy seeds. The appeal of a bagel may change upon being toasted. Toasting can have the effect of bringing or removing desirable chewiness, softening the crust, and moderating off flavors. A typical bagel has 260 to 350 calories, 1.0 to 4.5 grams of fat, 330 to 660 milligrams of sodium, and 2 to 5 grams of fiber. Gluten free bagels have much more fat, often 9 grams because of the ingredients which are used to replace wheat flour. Varieties The two most prominent styles of traditional bagel in North America are the Montreal-style bagel and the New York-style bagel. The Montreal bagel contains malt and sugar with no salt. It is boiled in honey-sweetened water before baking in a wood-fired oven. And it is predominantly either of the poppy black, or sesame white seeds variety. The New York bagel contains salt and malt and is boiled in water prior to baking in a standard oven. The resulting New York bagel is puffy with a moist crust, while the Montreal bagel is smaller, crunchier, and sweeter. Divido Veach bagels, made in NYC, are a recognized wholesale manufacturer of bagels that still use these traditional bagel making techniques, including kettle boiling and plank baking in a wood fired oven. Chicago style bagels are baked or baked with steam. Poppy seeds are sometimes called by their Yiddish name, spelled either mon or mon, which is very similar to the German word for poppy, mon, as used in Monbra paragraph chin. The traditional London bagel is harder and has a coarser texture with air bubbles. American chef John Mightsweet suggests a recipe for what he calls a Euro OE San Francisco style bagel seguro. His recipe yields bagels flatter than New York style bagels and characterized by a rough textured crust. Around the world. In Poland, bagels are sold in the bakery and Kielce's Market Square and are well known in the city. Polish bagels are usually sold with sesame and poppy seeds. In Russia, Belarus and Ukraine, the bablik is essentially a larger bagel, but having a wider hole. Other ring-shaped breads known among East Slavs are baranki and sushki. In Lithuania, bagels are called ryeste nili, and sometimes by their Slavic name barankos. In Finland, visa rinkali are small rings of yeast leavened wheat bread. They are placed in salted boiling water before being baked. They are often eaten for breakfast toasted and buttered. They are available in several different varieties in supermarkets. German pretzels, 
especially the large soft ones, are similar to bagels, the main exceptions being the shape and the alkaline water bath that makes the surface dark and glossy. In Romania, Kovrigia topped with poppy, sesame seeds or large salt grains, especially in the central area of the country, and the recipe does not contain any added sweetener. In some parts of Austria, ring-shaped pastries called bugle are sold in the weeks before Easter. Like a bagel, the yeasted wheat dough, usually flavored with caraway, is boiled before baking. However, the bugle is crispy and can be stored for weeks. Traditionally it has to be torn apart by two individuals before eating. In Turkey, a salty and fattier form is called or section ma. However, the ring-shaped cement, is sometimes marketed as Turkish bagel. Archival sources show that the cement has been produced in Istanbul since 1525. Based on Areska 1 quarter da court records dated 1593, the weight and price of cement was standardized for the first time. Famous 17th century traveller of Dia El Bai wrote that there were 70 cement bakeries in Istanbul during the 1630s. John Brindisi's early 19th century oil paintings about Istanbul daily life show cement sellers on the streets. Warwick Gobel made an illustration of these cement sellers of Istanbul in 1906. Surprisingly, cement is very similar to the twisted sesame sprinkled bagels pictured being sold in early 20th century Poland. Cement are also sold on the street in baskets or carts, like bagels were then. The Uggers of Xinjiang, China, enjoy a form of bagel known as Gurdi Nan, which is one of several types of Nan, the bread eaten in Xinjiang. In Japan, the first kosher bagels were brought by Bagel K from New York in 1989. Bagel K created green tea, chocolate, maple nut, and banana nut flavors for the markets in Japan. There are 3 million bagels exported from the U.S. annually, and it has a 4% of duty classification of Japan in 2000. Some Japanese bagels are sweet. The orthodox kosher bagels are the same as in the U.S., non-traditional dose and types, while normally and traditionally made of yeasted wheat, in the late 20th century many variations on the bagel flourished. Non-traditional versions which changed the dough recipe include pumpernickel, rye, sourdough, bran, whole wheat, and multi-grain. Other variations change the flavor of the dough, often using blueberry, salt, onion, garlic, egg, cinnamon, raisin, chocolate chip, cheese, or some combination of the above. Green bagels are sometimes created for St. Patrick's Day. Many corporate chains now offer bagels in such flavors as chocolate chip and French toast. Sandwich bagels have been popularized since the late 1990s by bagel speciality shops such as Brugger's and Einstein Brothers, and fast food restaurants such as McDonald's. Breakfast bagels, a softer, sweetener variety usually sold in fruity or sweet flavors are commonly sold by large supermarket chains. These are usually sold sliced and are intended to be prepared in a toaster. A flat bagel, known as a flagel, can be found in a few locations in and around New York City and Toronto. According to a review attributed to New York's Village Voice food critic Robert Sitzema, the flagel was first created by Brooklyn's Tasty Bagels Deli in the early 1990s. The New York style snacks brand has developed the baked snacks referred to as bagel crisps and bagel chips, which are a representation of the authentic taste of New York City bakery bagels. Though the original bagel has a fairly well-defined recipe and method of production, there is no legal standard of identity for bagels in the United States. Bakers are thus free to call any bread torus a bagel, even those that deviate wildly from the original formulation. Large-scale commercial sales, United States supermarket sales, 2008, according to the American Institute of Baking, Year 2008 supermarket sales of the top eight leading commercial fresh bagel brands in the United States, totaled to $430,185,378 U.S. dollars based on 142,669,901 package unit sales. The top eight leading brand names for the above were, Thomas, Sara Lee, Pepperidge Farm, Thomas Mini Squares, Lenders Bagels, Weight Watchers and The Alternative Bagel. Further, AIB provided statistics for the 52-week period ending May 18, 2008, 
for refrigerated frozen supermarket bagel sales for the top 10 brand names totaled $50,737,860, US based on 36,719,977 unit package sales. Price per package was $3.02 for fresh, $1.38 for frozen. 2012 the AIB reported 626.9 million US dollars fresh bagel US supermarket sales for the 52 weeks ending April 11, 2012. Fresh frozen supermarket sales for the 52 weeks ending May 13, 2012 was 592.7 million US dollars. The average price for a bag of fresh bagels was $3.27, for frozen was $1.23. Cultural references Bagel is also a yeshivish term for sleeping 12 hours straight, for example, I slept a bagel last night. There are various opinions as to the origins of this term. It may be a reference to the fact that bagel dough has to rest for at least 12 hours between mixing and baking, or simply to the fact that the hour hand on a clock traces a bagel shape over the course of 12 hours. In tennis a bagel refers to a player winning a set 6-0 and winning a match 6-0, 6-0, 6-0 is called a triple bagel. See also References, Citations Bibliography, Belinska, Maria. The Bagel, The Surprising History of a Modest Bread, Yale University Press, November 2008, ISBN 0-300-11229-7. ISBN 978-0-300-11229-0 External links, Bagel's Return to the Lower East Side, The Bagel's History on H2G2, Einstein, Brothers. The History of Bagel's, October 20, 2009, Nathan, Joan. A Short History of Bagel's, Slate, November 12, 2008, Williams Ari. The Secret History of Bagels, The Atlantic, March 26, 2009